It's Sunday afternoon and my husband's out playing Ultimate Frisbee, so it seemed like a good day to just record a video for you guys. So let's do a journal flip through. I've got a few more pages done since last time. So I think we left off on, hello, it's my birthday. And, um, and then we'll move on to the next page again. This is my faux Heidi Swap memory planner. Uh, I was actually at Michael's. They have lots of them in stock now, but I'm comfortable in this binder. I don't want to, I don't want to upgrade to a, to the actual, the actual Heidi Swap branded one. I like this one. So the next thing I did is I made an envelope to hold my birthday cards in. And this is just made out of craft card stock and I covered it with some washi tape here. And this is actually the inside liner of this birthday card. It, the envelope had a liner, so I used that. And there was a ribbon inside the card as well, so I used that. Um, and then just a Heidi Swap sticker here. These are actually some Barbie stickers that I had. And another birthday card in there. And then it's just a craft, a basic craft pocket. So that's good, I won't lose them. Um, the next page is called pa Plain Pretend, and it, it's, this is kind of going to be a hard one to explain, but my husband and I were Maritimers, we live inland now, um, but we went down to the lake to uh, one of the beaches there, and we pretended that we were at the ocean, <laughs> so we took selfies in front of it where you can't see any, any land behind us, um, and then we went to a place um, called the Fuzz Box, it's a restaurant on the Danforth, and it sells what they call uh, traditional Halifax Donaires. Um, I'm not sure I can describe a Halifax donair tea. There's nothing really like it. It's um, it's a it's a it's a food that was brought to us um, probably like 100 years ago. The Lebanese brought um, meat on a skewer to Halifax, and it's kind of evolved into this super junk food of um, I don't even know what to call it, but it's spice ground beef, and it's and it's a a scary white sauce on a pita with tomatoes and onions. So we went to this restaurant and it was one of the closest things we've had to an authentic Halifax donair. I wouldn't say it was great, but I'm glad that we went. So I just did this photo collage using um, Insta Collage, just an app on my iPhone. I used some Snap Story stickers, Snap Simple Stories, um, just typed out my journal entry and a little bit of washi tape. So that was a really simple page. This is just the um, logo off the menu from the restaurant we went to. Uh, the next page I'm kind of disappointed in because as you can see, it got messed up. So um, I went out running in the pouring rain. It was a great run, and I and it's always such an excuse I use not to go running. I'm like, oh, it's raining. I don't want to go. So I wanted to do this page as a reminder, Jackie, never let the rain stop you. Just go outside anyway. Um, and so I did this art, and then when I did the other side of the page, somehow I managed to get orange paint all over this side. And when I used the heat gun on the other page, the ink actually melted. The ink melted and ran, so I've learned never to use the heat gun with my Pilot Parallel pens. Like I know they're water sensitive, but I guess they're also heat sensitive. So I still love the pens, but I'm disappointed that this happened to the page. So I could only use dry mediums on this page because I didn't want to mess with this ink, although it happened anyway. So I just used some Tim Holtz Distress Ink on black soot. I used my blue color pencils and I just drew this picture of the rain using my color pencils. Um, I actually did put some water on these cutouts of the words pouring rain because I wanted to get the wet feel and then these captions I just printed off on my computer but um, my calligraphy is getting better I think it's not it's not exactly where I want it to be but I'm having fun with these pens they're they're really great pens uh, the next page is our fourth escape the room puzzle and you can see now where the orange came from their logo was orange so I kind of want to carry that theme through so I just printed their logo off their website this is just a piece of mixed media paper um, and I just stuck down some crossword puzzles and covered it with um, some orange acrylic paint and a little bit of blue and that's where these muddy areas come from I like those uh, and then I just did some stamping but most of it ended up getting covered up um, so I just used a marker to write in our fourth escape the room puzzle we didn't make it out and then there's they always set you up in a photo booth and you take a picture so that's what that one is and that's a picture of the vault that we were trying to break in break out of break into break out of I don't know it was I guess break out of um, so that was a fun experience um, the next one is a pocket page it's a Heidi swap um, pocket page from the gold memory planner and um, I thought it held a 4x4, but I cut this out and it's like half an inch short, but I like it square better anyway. So this is for a cooking class that we took at our favorite Italian restaurant. It's called Seven Numbers and it's actually run by an Italian grandmother. And she just cooks whatever she feels like each night. You pay $30 and you get like three kinds of pasta, three salads, and like one entree for every person you have at the table. 
and it's just basically you eat everything on the menu. So just go in, 30 bucks, everything on the menu, made by an Italian grandmother. It's fantastic. So I just put it, we uh, went and she taught us some of her secrets. Um, so this is a picture of her and uh, in the kitchen and we're all kind of huddled around. I actually went outside and took the picture through the window. Uh, and then this is a picture of the fried artichokes that we made. Um, I got these awesome little tiny alpha stickers at Desserts and I've just been using them for everything. There's like a thousand in the package. <laughs> Uh, and they were really cheap, so it's good. Um, there's a Heidi Swan journaling card here. This was, I think, a Project Life Trinkets card, and this is the back side of it, and I just sprayed it with some Color Shine spray. Heidi Swap Alphas, Snap Simple Stories Alphas. And on the back, I put my journaling on the other side of that journaling card, and um, I took a picture of one of the pastas we made. We made three different kinds. And um, this is a picture we all ate family style. There was about 40 people around the table, and it was really amazing. And just some Recollections washi tape. Um, I'm kind of getting a little more into pocket pages. I know I, I've said before that I really didn't like them, but I'm, they're starting to grow on me a little. And I love anything that uses up um, journaling cards. So I don't know, you may see some more pocket pages from me. Um, the next one is I am ready to fly. And I realized I forgot to date this card, so I need to come back and do this. But it's a Snap Simple Stories I Am Collection journaling card with some Heidi Swap um, page reinforcers. And on the back, today your records fell. I had my fastest 5K ever. This is the picture from my app. And I just put, uh, I am reaching my full potential and the app said that was your fastest 5K ever. So I was really proud of that, so I wanted to save it in here. And I just used some gold washi tape there on the side. And the next page is uh, my David's Tea Hall. And I directly scrap lifted this design from Jennifer, Jen Shaw or, or Chow, I'm not sure how she says it, but I'll link to her below. She did this amazing series of called Six by Six Paper Pad Love, and I think this was design number nine, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that can use up so many scraps. <laughs> so I went right ahead and did it. So it's just a piece of white mixed media paper, and I've just cut little strips out of um, scraps I have left over from the Fancy Pants. Uh, it's all about the Little Things collection, and each one is kind of not stuck down, so you can tuck things behind it. So I tucked in the date. This is just like a little rub on. I put on some cardstock. This was a stamp that I did, uh, and that's stamped as well. Um, so I got all kinds of new tea from David's Tea, my favorite ones. They were all on sale, so uh, I'm pretty much stocked up at this point. So I just took a picture of what I got. Um, there's a few more rub ons, more of the paper strips. I journaled on some pink vellum. This is the sticker that was on the package as it came through. And I think that's pretty much all there is to that page. It's so pretty simple, but I like how bright it is. The other side I called Raccoon Nation. So I finally got my bicycle out and used it. And we bike through this graveyard. I live next to an enormous graveyard. It's a, one lap around the graveyard is about four kilometers. So it's just the perfect place to go and run and bike or whatever we end up doing. And when we were in there, we actually, the first time we took the bike out, we saw four raccoons. And then the next morning in the paper, this was the headline, Raccoon Nation. Apparently the raccoon has become my city's unofficial mascot and we have 1,000 raccoons per square kilometer. So um, that's a picture of me. I got off my bike and I was just watching this raccoon. He's kind of hard to see. I don't think you can probably see him. Uh, and I just backed it with some gold um, glitter tape. These were cut out of the newspaper. And he's just, his big dumb eyes were so cute, I had to include them. I put some washi tape on the top and the bottom of the page. More of the pink vellum to kind of carry it over from the last page. This is one of the I Am Collection stickers. And I think these are actually all from the I Am Collection. And this one's Heidi Swap. So a nice, uh, and that's a Heidi Swap journaling card. I, I like this page, I like the colors on it. Um, next we have my May divider. So I used one of the Heidi Swap papers again. This is the Bliss uh, paper. And then I stuck down a doily that I sprayed with um, mint, I think it's mint color shine spray, Heidi Swap color shine spray and I used one of the I Am Collection tabs and I just put the word May on it. Um, this tag actually started life out as a Teresa Collins Christmas tag and it was white on the back so I just um, put down one of the Heidi Swap stencils and used the pink color shine spray on it and then used the Heidi Swap stamp to stamp the, um, the text on it. Um, this is, I forget who makes this ribbon, I think it's Karen Foster Designs, and I don't know who made the brad. Um, I stuck this down with matte medium, and I have so much wrinkling in the paper. If anyone can give me some tips on how not to have matte medium wrinkle your pages, I would love to hear it, because I put this between books for probably four days, and I can still see the wrinkles. So it's kind of driving me bananas. I would love some advice. <laughs> Um, on the other side, um, I called it spring selfies. I finally wore something that wasn't jeans and a sweater. 
So I just decided, and I had like bright white brand new sneakers. So I just decided to take a couple selfies. Um, so that's me waiting for the elevator and here I am walking down the street. Um, and I just um, put some of the, um, these are the Snap Simple Stories I Am collection, more of those. I've been using it a lot. Uh, these actually are, and these are all die cuts with a view from my calendar set. Uh, and I just stuck some journaling card bits in behind uh, to frame the photos. And this is a Teresa Collins banner, this orange bit. So just some colors I don't always use. Um, and then I just did another entry um, about another day, of just a Sunday that my husband and I spent together and a walk that we went on and we had a nice day, so I just thought I'd journal it. Um, the next page is called um, Allen Gardens Conservatory, May the 3rd. My grandmother and I went, um, she was in town for a day and it turns out her hotel was next to this amazing um, conservatory. So what I did is I just took a piece of the Heidi Swap um, pattern paper, put some glitter tape down the side and I printed out 12 of the pictures of the flowers that I'd seen and cut them into two by two squares and just taped them all into a grid and then I used some um, Mambi Alphas um, and they're gold foil so they shine, I don't know if you can see that, um, to do the title and the date. So those are some of the flowers we saw. And then on the other side I put uh, a picture of my grandmother and I together and I said I am blessed because I'm 34 years old and I have three healthy grandparents which is, I don't know, I think that's a miracle. Um, so um, I just did a journal card about how grateful I am that we had the opportunity to spend the day together and then I just use this as an I am uh, collection piece of a uh, die cut and this is from the project life trinkets and it's kind of amazing how it all matches together like these colors are all the same so it was perfect um, so yeah that's about as far as I am in the book right now and uh, got lots more going on that I'm gonna have to journal so you'll see another update from me soon thanks for watching